it just became very scary. Um, it, that's the word I would use. It became very scary for me. And I remember at that juncture when we were asked to come into the hospital, I was scared. Um, it really, I almost felt as if uh, these were going to be my last days. This is definitely the worst thing that I and I'm sure a lot of people have lived through. And um, I think it's affected every aspect of my life and certainly I'm sure of a lot of others. When the pandemic first started, I had recently had a baby. We're seeing mortality rates that were unheard of. Uh, you know, signing death certificates uh, a couple a day, which is like, you know, I can do this a couple times a year, but here I am signing death certificates uh, on a daily basis. There was a woman who had lung cancer. Her whole family had been ill with COVID. Her husband had just died in a different hospital. Her pregnant daughter was downstairs in our ER, and her other daughter was at another hospital. She would look at me with tears in her eyes saying, I'm gonna die, I have lung cancer. And she was extremely scared. Um, but the fact is that she didn't die. Um, she was wheeled out of the hospital. You hold a hand, you um, say, let's take it one moment at a time. The pandemic really made us realize that we need other people in our lives. I owe it to my staff, the courage for them to come in on a daily basis, every day, never missed a beat. Nobody really got COVID in the office either. And we were, again, we were seeing patients on a daily basis, never shut down. We are talking about 75 patients on, almost on a daily basis during the heart of COVID. This taught me that, you know, I'm probably stronger and no matter what is put in front of me, there is a quite significant chance that I'd get through it. I grew up a little bit more. It wised me up and it put things in focus. It put my life in focus. I just felt, you know, if I didn't do it, then who was? And I kind of just took it at that level, like, okay, you know, whatever's gonna happen to me is gonna happen to me. When you take that oath and when you go into medicine, you go in there because there is something bigger than yourself. You get up, you come in, you do your work, you take care of your patients, and you do the whole thing all over again the next day. I was terrified out of my mind and I didn't step back from that. I just, I just went with it one day at a time and it definitely wasn't easy, but I feel like I can tell him, you know, mommy contributed, mommy really helped when, when we needed it.